All right, folks, God bless you, and welcome to This Is It Before the Fire. His purpose, Christ, was to make one new man from the two, thus making peace. Guys, um, you know uh, when you have three videos in a row that are blocked worldwide or blocked worldwide and then removed um, for alleged violations or contradictions to terms, and you're probably over the target. So one thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to leave that particular subject matter alone and just talk about the Bible. If we're still allowed to talk about the Bible, we'll see. So anyway, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you guys some biblical stuff that when you add this to the video that I'm going to ask you to watch, you'll understand literally the, the mystery of everything, the mystery of everything, who you are, where you come from, why we're here, who our masters were, who, uh, what the pyramids are all actually truly all about. Ever wondered what the pyramids are really all about? You get all these nebulous answers and stuff that just does not add up over and over and over again. And I, I was like, you know, I sent the stuff that the Lord had me decrypt to, uh, you know, to uh, Ancient Aliens and Giorgio Sakopoulos. Never heard back from him. I'm like, guys, I can I can decrypt Akhenaten like that. Any of y'all that have seen uh, uh, the video where I did it in Fast Time, I, I just drew the whole thing in. There's another one of Akhenaten I drew, and it's a dragon coming out of the sun. I mean, I can draw it in like that. And nobody ever is interested in getting back to me. Why? I mean, the most profound reality <laughs> in the world. I, I I drew, and it's a serpent race eating a race that it bred with. That's what's in the hieroglyph. And we're going to go over that in the next video. I'm going to use that, you know, uh, documentary that I did where I drew in, you know, the whole Akhenaten thing. So anyway, but what I would like for y'all to do for me. So I, I'm trying to give you what the Lord's given me and. The way he gives it to me is so, it's it's the greatest treasure there is. There's no greater treasure. So I want to give to you what he's given to me. And the only way you can have the understanding that I have is by going through the pathways that the Lord makes me go through to give me something to to deliver the gift of knowledge, the, you know, the gift of wisdom. So let me show you something that was very bizarre. He had me wake up the other morning. It was very strange. Uh, I woke up at about 2 a.m., 1.30 or 2 a.m., and I just sat down at my computer, and out of nowhere on the right side, it's, you know, you see over here it says Immortal Egypt, why did the Egyptians stop building pyramids, uh, the real origins of ancient Egypt, blah, 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 but I've already watched a lots of documentaries, and I know their answers are nonsense. I'm like, that's, hey, why don't you give me a call? The Lord let me draw an Akhenaten. It shows a race within a race, a serpent race consuming a sheep race. You know what? Let me show it to you real quick. Let me show it. For any of y'all that would like the raw data, let me let me just show you where to go to. Uh, so you can go right up here to show notes info. Show notes info. This is it, 4321 slash Ford Gallery. So just type all this in. If If anyone ever has a question, what to do, look right up here in the address bar. You could just type that in. Just freeze frame it uh, and then open another window and you can type it in if you didn't know how to get there. Um, but these have been available for a long time, so I'm not I'm not going to keep going over it. So anyway, so it's the show notes info and it's, you know, and I'll, I'll walk it back one more time. Okay, so the special projects right here, you click on the green one right here. Exit, exit 96, I think. And then right here. Alien hieroglyph right here. Okay. Now. Okay, so I'm just going to show you something very quickly just to start. I'm going to show you this image right here. This, this is the head of a serpent being right here in green. There's an eye right here. There's an eye right here. It looks like a skull. looks like death. But there's an eye right here. There's an eye right here. Nose. And then the frowny mouth, see the, the line going down, the line going down, making the bottom jaw right here. This is the top of the head to the neck and the neck going down. But see, it's a race 
inside of array. So this alien is right inside Akhenaten. So Akhenaten's a serpent being. See right there. So so Akhenaten's a serpent being right there. Okay. Now let me go down and let me just kind of break it down for you real quick. I want you to, guys to see a couple things that are super important. So let me just give you a quick education. Let's open this this picture. This is a absolutely classic. This is a sheep. Now I want you to think of a set of twins. If someone's carrying a twin, there's a right side up twin. There's an upside down twin in your womb. Now you are your own twin. You have your own good tw good and evil twin inside of you. That's the system. Now watch this. So here is an image of a sheep with its tongue sticking out. I've shown you this over and over. Here is the eye right here. I'm going to move my cursor around. There is one eye. Here's the other eye coming down the cheek right here to the nostril right there, nostril right there, then the cleft in the lip right there, and then the lines in the lip there and there, and then you have the tongue sticking out right here. I'm just going over it with my cursor. And so this is all the face of a sheep right here with the tongue sticking. And here's the ear going out, even the black fuzz in the ear right there, then that's fuzz in the ear, and then the ear going off the page, top of the head to the other ear, fuzz in the ear, and you can see the sheep, and there's that sheep haircut when they shear the sheep, they got this shaved face, but they have this big thing of fuzz right here going around. There it is. So when you take, when you turn this the opposite direction, its twin image is the virgin. So the virgin image has a twin image upside down, which is a dead sheep. I'm showing it to you. Uh, so this is a revelation by the Lord God. So see, I have the gift of knowledge, the gift of discernment. Uh, the Lord has just blessed me with supernatural abilities. But I can see right away, there's your dead sheep and there's the virgin. So, and I'm just going to state plainly right up front, the reason the virgin is a dead sheep is because what killed God's angels uh, was the virgin. Mother goddess worship, willing to come into the host body system, take on bodies and have sex. You're not supposed to do it if you're an angel, no embodiment. Okay, so here we go. Here is a she another image of a sheep. So I just showed you one sheep. Let's start right here with the sheep's eye right here. And then the teardrop coming out of the eye. See the teardrop, the blue teardrop? Okay, here's the eye. Here's the tongue of the sheep right here. I'm circling it in red. There's the nose. See the black nose right there? So let's start at the mouth. There's the open mouth with the tongue. Let's go to the, butt, the black nose right here. And then let's go up the sheep's face for it over the top of the head right here. Here's the sheep's ear right there going back. And then there's the eye and the teardrop going to the neck of the sheep, right? So you see the sheep. Okay, well, again, I showed you the virgin from a calendar in, you know, 2000 or something, 2002, there it is. It was a dead sheep. But now I'm showing you that here's a dead sheep right here. But that dead sheep, all I simply did was turn the hieroglyph of Nefertiti upside down. So I'm showing you Nefertiti has a twin image. It's a dead sheep. There's one Nefertiti one way, dead sheep the other way, like a twin image. Okay, isn't that weird? Why would somebody do that? Why did the ancient Egyptians do that? That more okay, so why are the ancient Egyptians carving Nefertiti with a dead sheep on her face? That's kind of weird, right? Uh, but wait, there was a serpent in Akhenaten. Akhenaten means worshippers of the sun, by the way. So let me uh, let me back out of that picture. So now I've very easily proven that one of the most sought-after understandings was Akhenaten and Nefertiti and their reign because he was the one pharaoh who was scrubbed from the records. They scrubbed, they chipped him off all these, uh, you know, different uh, religious sites, and they tried to erase the memory of Akhenaten. Why? Why would you do that? It's kind of weird. You know why he was the first monotheistic, the first monotheistic God in, in the Egyptian pantheon of God saying there's one and he's it. It's pretty wild, don't you think? Wow. So they, they didn't want to go there. So he was removed from most uh, Egyptian iconography. Uh, there's 
lightning from heaven sticking out his tongue and winking his eye. I wonder why he's doing that. Um, here's a picture of me that a guy drew at Starbucks. I said he would do it two weeks before this picture was drawn. I walked into Starbucks. I said, hey, Chris, how's it going? Hey, I bet Alex over there draws a picture of me with uh, a dead sheep on my face. And uh, Chris, Chris looked at me like I'd lost my mind. And I said, I'll bet you a million bucks that that guy over there, Alex, is going to draw a picture of me with a dead sheep on my face. Do you know how I knew? Because he kept winking his eye and sticking out his tongue. When you wink the eye, the eye that there, any eye that goes up, like to have the heavenly realms, that eye would be closed. And the eye that's open is the one that goes to the pit. So the all-seeing eye of Satan is looking at you. When someone winks their eye, that's why it's in the Bible. Psalm 35, 19, let, neither let them that are my enemies wrongfully rejoice over me. Neither let them wink with the eye that hate me without a cause. That's Psalm 35, 19. And then here is some dude winking his eye and sticking out his tongue. The Bible also, now here's a, here's a connection here. So you see the tongue sticking out. You see the tongue sticking out on the sheep. Do you ever wonder why we stick our tongue out at somebody? Mm. You know why it's happening there? Because you're, you're saying to the other person by going, mm. it's like you're a dead sheep. That's why they're sticking their tongue out. What's the hieroglyph? It's a dead sheep with its tongue sticking out. What's the image of the virgin? It's a sheep with its tongue sticking out. What's the largest altar in the world in the Vatican? A sheep with its tongue sticking out. You're starting to see the same pattern over and over and over. A dead sheep, a dead sheep, a dead sheep. Yeah. Okay, well, who's doing the dead sheep? It's always a serpent, right? The Vatican is built in the shape of a serpent. And that dead sheep from the Vatican, which we'll look at next, is in the mouth of a serpent. So the serpent's eating the sheep. Remember Lady Gaga, my performance at the Grammy Awards is about a new race of beings being birthed within the human race. How do you birth a race within a race? Well, if you breed with it, you breed a serpent race and you get a sheep race to breed with it. Well, then that would do it, wouldn't it? Huh. Okay, so here's a picture of me right there, Johnny. And he put a dead sheep right there behind my ear. There it is right there. There's the eye of the sheep. There's the ear. Look, even made a teardrop. Look at the teardrop. See it? Just like a hieroglyph. That's crazy. You know what's even crazier? Here's another picture of me another guy drew. Another dude named Marcel. What would what does everybody want to draw my picture for? <laughs> I'm like, what's up? Huh? It's kind of weird, right? Huh. So Marcel drew a picture of me and look, he put a dead sheep right on top of my head, a goat facing the opposite way because a sheep's opposite twin is a goat, a sheep and a goat, get it? And so I'm being hunted through the host body system by a race of beings that are serpents because when you turn this upside down, it's a serpent eating me. So let me show you that real quick. <laughs> let me show you. Let me show you these guys' system. So you see the sheep right here with its tongue sticking out? I've made the eye the little dot right here. There's the nose. There's a the tongue. Now, don't forget, you know, this is uh, this is this artist doing it. Let's see. It's kind of blocking right here. Uh, let me see. I don't want to block. I want to slide this over. I can do it right here. Watch this. I'll take this one and, oops, hang on one sec, folks. I want to slide that sheep on top of the image right here. Now, watch. So, I'll go up here and I'll, I'll enlarge this watch. Right there so you see the sheep right there like i'll put the sheep right there see it you see the sheep so i can see it very easily but i have a supernatural gift there's a sheep he used the knot in the wood right here very cleverly because it's a knot and it's like an eye but with water oh that's crazy they use a teardrop coming out of the eye of the sheep so the artist here was like hey i'll use that little knot in the wood to make the water coming out of the eye. Wow, that's serious attention to detail. Good for you. So here's a sheep, right? Here's a dead sheep right here. Right, there's the eye right there. Water coming out, nose, tongue, bottom snoot. Here's the ear right here. I've done no augmentations. I've simply outlined for you what the artist himself did. So let's do that again. Bam. So there's a sheep right there. And then, oddly enough, there's a goat. Now, let's just put the goat right in place. So, let's go right up here, and I'll put the goat's eyes on, and 
there you, there you go a little smaller I think yeah a little smaller uh right about there there we go yeah there okay so there's the goat now I'll move the goat see the goat see his eyes are closed he's got two closed eyes he's got his ears sticking out he's got his horns going up very defined with the horn thing and then his front hoof his front hoof is my sideburn and he did a really good job because I looked at it as I like wow look how he took my sideburn and he split it right there where the goat's hoof is let me show you look let's see the pencil mark right there that's a hoof why did somebody draw a dead sheep and a goat on me because it's a twin system you're part sheep part goat sheep goes to the Lord God goat goes to the devil in the pit those are each of your eyes. One's a sheep, one's a goat. The serpent race is what runs the goat. So here we go. Because Satan is the devil, the goat represents the devil's race. Uh, Satan is the devil, Satan is the serpent, Satan is the dragon. So you see this play out all kinds of places like Miley Cyrus. She winks her eye and sticks out her tongue. That's Jim Carrey doing it through the pyramid casinos. There's your good friend from Russia and your good friend from here having a good time. And here's the whole Winky clan. Yeah, there you go. There you go, Hillary. Here, yeah. Anyway, so they all like to wink their eye a lot. Here's a clothing line called Neff, like Nephilim, but they use two Fs. N-E-F, one eye's closed. He was winking, sticking out his tongue. And there's little Wayne, you know, doing his like dedication for right side up upside down because he knows he's one of them so see the serpent race and just to be clear the serpent race uh, manifests the same behavior all over the world doesn't matter where they are it's like a beaver a beaver builds a dam here in the u.s and a beaver dip builds a dam in europe and a beaver builds dams wherever beavers exist they don't get on the phone and say hey start doing all this it comes naturally you can tell every tree by its fruit. By the way, I borrowed the beaver thing from the documentary I want you guys to watch. You know what? We're going to come right back to the higher clip, but let me show you the documentary real, real quick. Right, It's right here. It's called Revelation of the Pyramids Documentary right here. And it'll be in the description box, but you could go type it into YouTube. The Revelation of the Pyramids Documentary August 22nd, 2016. There it is. So I'll try and put it in the description box right away. It's already in the show notes, but I uh, have you've been keeping an eye on the show notes. Anyway, so let's go back to this now. Let's go back to these uh, these different images. Let's go over this so you can see it super quick. So here's a serpent bean. I made him real easy for you to see. So here's his green eye right here. There's the green eye. And then there's the jaw, the mouth line that makes this jaw. Looks like kind of a marionette. It's a serpent bean. Remember that? The head and the neck, okay? Well, I'm not, you know, this turns into a male scrotum in the next picture. So this, this round part that's the head becomes a scrotum. And this long part that's the neck turns into a penis. And it's in the process of penetration right here. Let me ask you a question. Why would a hieroglyph show such a thing? Why would, look, and I'm just going to prove it. So here it is in the in the hieroglyph with no drawing on it. But I can see exactly what it is. I can see the rounded image right here on the cheek. Uh, see right here? See the rounded stone? See how it's been rounded? That's the top of the head right there. And then you see the neck going down. That becomes a, this becomes a penis penetrating a vagina right here. So... Let me slide that over and just prove it real quick. So, do, 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 do. bam, there it is. So now you see a race within a race, don't you? Lady Gaga, let, let, you know what? Let's just listen to Lady Gaga real quick. Oh, okay, so right here, Lady Gaga, she's just the serpent race. It's so obvious now. She's just going to say, just like beavers all over the world build dams, the serpent race all over the world does what the serpent race does. You can tell every tree by its fruit. So she's just going to come out and say what they do and what her performance was. Now watch. It's a race within a race. Uh, and what we've been doing with the egg and the rebirth. Um, yeah. 
It's meant to signify a, an artistic statement of birthing a new race, and it's a race with no prejudice, uh, a race within the race of humanity yeah, that yeah. bears no um, uh, prejudice against anyone. So. Yeah. Uh, a race within the race of humanity. Okay. So a race within the race of humanity, right? That's what she said. That's exactly what she just said. And born this way. So you were born this way, which is we're a race within a race, and that's what we are. Um, is that why Lightning from Heaven said the same thing on The View? I ask you, what what are we? Who are we? Well, everybody here is connected in some fashion, uh, and our success and our children's success uh, is tied up uh, together. And so, uh, I think most Americans feel that way. Mm -hmm. But what is still true is is that you know, uh, there's still kind of a reptilian side of our brain, right? Uh, 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 that. We're tied together. Our success and our children's success is tied together because we have a reptilian side of our brain. Well, let's take a look at Akhenaten. So the largest church in the world is a snake wearing a crown, and the mouth of the snake is a dead sheep. So you have a serpent and a sheep. The Vatican is a serpent. The whole building is a snake wearing a crown. <laughs> I showed it to you a thousand times. Okay, the mouth of that snake on the inside of the building is a bunch of angels and it, turning into a dead sheep. So that would suggest that the serpent eats angels and the angels are the sheep because all the angels make a sheep. Let me show you that real quick. Okay, nobody can argue with that, can they? That the, Here's the Vatican right here. It's a big black keyhole with an upside down cross, but that if you have eyes to see, it's a serpent wearing a crown as well, and the serpent's pregnant. So here's a pregnant serpent wearing a crown, and the mouth of the serpent right here, that window right there, right there. Let's go and look at that serpent one time from behind. So let's go behind that, the crown, and there it is facing that way, isn't it? I mean, how perfect, how perfect. How perfect is that, that the, the sidewalk is a split tongue? All serpents have split tongues. It's interesting that that, was, that tongue goes to the halls of government. Palacio de Gubernare, right? Okay, okay, no way around this. There's a sheep right here. There's a she an actual sheep. Look at the sheep right here. And the sheep has a snoot. See the snoot in black here? Here's the snoot in black right here. There's the snoot in black. See this? Sheep has white right there around its lips. Look right here. Those, that's that's actually teeth. So there's the eye of the sheep, eye of the sheep, nostrils of the sheep, teeth of the sheep, and the ears coming down. Well, what's the entire sheep made of? The entire sheep is made out of angels. Those are all God's angels that got tricked into coming into the system, and they're being birthed into hu human host bodies. That's why the cumulative sum of that altar is male and female reproductive systems. I'm sorry. There's the there's the male reproductive system right there. And then the female, you just simply turn that upside down, drop it right there, and it's the female reproductive system exactly. So you have male and female reproductive systems. You have a sheep, and you have a serpent right here, and the serpent is eating angels. Here, see the angels? It's a sheep. I'm spinning it. Serpent is yum, 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 yum. Eat angels. Angels are sheep. Eat angels. Angels are sheep. It's a race. How do you, how do you get to eat sheep? How do, how do serpents get to eat angels? Well, you got to get them to interbreed with you. So you got to be willing to take on a host body. You have to set a trap for them. The forbidden fruit would be good. No embodiment. Did you know it says that in Exodus 20? You shall not make unto yourselves any graven image or any likeness. You shall not make unto thee any graven image. Okay, so he's, you think this just applied to us. This applied to the angels and idol. See the word idol? Or any likeness, something portion that is fashioned out. See the word a phantom? That's weird. So 
or any likeness, something portioned out or a phantom or specifically embodiment. By the way, embodiment is something you have to do if you're a spirit. You have to you have to take on an embodiment. You have to have your spirit go into a body. So that's what the angels were willing to do. But you're not supposed to do that. You shall not make any graven image or any embodiment. And right there in Genesis 6, there's a group, Genesis 1, I'm sorry, Genesis 1, verse 26. There's a group of people, they're called Elohim. When I say people, I mean spirits, gods. There's a group, Elohim, but they're many in one, like E Pluribus Unum on the dollar bill. You know, with the pyramid, the pyramid, E Pluribus Unum, many, uh, out of many, one. Well, if you're the serpent race and you bred and you made a bunch of you, out of many, one. It's a collective whole. It's like a hive. That's what a hive is. So anyway, so here we go. Elohim said, let us make man in our image. Image is the word Salem. It means to shade. It says a phantom. So here someone is making a phantom. Doesn't Exodus 20 say, you shall not make any likeness, any phantom? And then it says, or any embodiment. So Elohim created man. Isn't man an embodiment? Right here. Here's a man. Uh, let us create man in our image. Let us create an embodiment in our phantom that is figuratively an illusion resemblance since a representative figure especially an idol wait a minute exodus 20 exodus 20 says no way you're not allowed to do any of those things see right here i'm the lord your god you shall not make any graven image so it says idol well genesis 1 26 just said let us make man in our image the word image is salem salem and salem means representative figure especially an idol so who's making man in genesis 1 is that the lord god hmm better check your map um so anyway so yeah so i am the lord thy god which brought you out of egypt oh egypt are they the pyramid with the all-seeing eye you know that's the all-seeing eye of satan from the pit the scorpion race by the way did you know that the name of the goddess of fertility you know sex for the egyptians is serket and it happens to be a scorpion girl yeah scorpion goddess of fertility for the egyptians is serket it's a scorpion female anyway we're going to get to that in the next vid but y'all are going to freak i want y'all to watch this video right here you have to you have to watch this video the revelation of the pyramids uh, best documentary, August 27, 2016. You can type it in right now, just like that, and pull it up. And let's see the thumbnail for it. These, uh, I hate commercial things. Okay, anyway. All right, so let's get back to what we're doing. Uh, sorry, <laughs> let's get back to what we're doing. Okay, so now we have a serpent and a sheep, right? So we have a serpent eating sheep. What's the sheep out of angels? How is he eating angels? Uh, because he got them to commingle sex. Penis and a vagina. The commingling of two races. So they built an altar worshiping who they are and what they do. Who are they? Well, they're the serpent race. They meet inside of a big snake. Did you know Nancy Pelosi is one of them? Did you know Biden's a devout Catholic? Uh, did you know Nancy Pelosi's a devout Catholic? Did you know I was raised Catholic? Yep. But I got converted and I can see the truth now. So anyway, this group of people likes to meet inside of a big snake. The snake that they meet in is eating a sheep. I'm the guy that a lot of people have said, hey, Johnny. Just like lightning from heaven in his healthcare commercial. Hey, go get healthcare. I'm the guy that a lot of people come up and say, hey, dude, I drew a picture of you. Because you for what? You like my style or something? You're cruising me for some weird thing? Uh, what's going on? Um, why are you drawing pictures of me? Oh, more than that, why are you drawing pictures of me with a dead sheep on my face? Do you know who you're speaking with? Yes, the angel of the bottomless pit. So, I understand that you're Satan and you have a group of locusts from the pit that have tails like scorpion. That's why your god for fertility is Sir Cat, the scorpion goddess, because you're the Egyptians. The pyramid is your enemy. Remember that? Well, the Lord delivered, guys. He showed me just how the enemy, the enemy is the pyramid race. They are the pyramid race. They're the ones. They've been here from the beginning. That's why Adidas, you know, that's got the three pyramids. Adidas were the original. Adidas original. You know, the commercial where everybody's upside down. And it's got ancient Egypt. 
Let's see that. So I wonder if this is really Adidas original, you know, with the three pyramids, how they glorify the three pyramids. I wonder if they're telling us that they're the X race and there's one, two, three, four, five. They're the upside down race. I get it. And that's why they're making an X on their chest. That's a, the female energy thing. So, but they're the upside down ones, half black, half white. I get it. Okay. So here we go. Adidas original. Okay, I got to pause it. Does this have anything to do with selling a pair of tennis shoes? No, it's just to show who's the original progenitors of this planet. And it's that race of beings, the serpent race. And they're just doing a commercial. That's all. So, hey, check it out. I found another one. Watch this. Adidas original again. Gee, I wonder why they're like having an Egyptian theme going on. And they turn the whole thing upside down all at once. I wonder. Let's see. Pay close attention to what's in the dead center of your screen. What is it? That represents that the onk, you can go look it up. But think of that as a person being inverted right here. Look at the cross. It's right side up, upside down cross. Here we go. Watch. Do y'all know what you're looking at? You're just looking at a commercial of that race of beans mocking the crap out of you. That's all it is. This is not a tennis shoe ad. This is them saying we did what we had to do. Destroy you. Sorry, but y'all were the fodder for our, our new race. What do you think is going on right now with putting iron in everybody? Huh? Have y'all seen the graphene molecule next to their symbology? You know, the Star of David's really... Uh, not the symbol for Israel, right? It's a menorah. Um, let me show you this real quick. E pluribus unum, out of many, one, right? So, so let me show you a picture of a hive that I even put this on top of the on top of the Vatican right here. See that picture? You see how it, this is? You see right here? See that? See how that's like a hive? See it? So this is what thing I put on the top of the Vatican because the Vatican's a hive. It's a hive on top. Now watch. Let me show you. You see that right there? How that's a hive as well? Do you know what that what you're really looking at right over here? Let me show you. Remember I showed you the dollar bill. It has e pluribus unum right here, and it makes that symbol right there. See that symbol? Here's a that same symbol right, identical right there. Look what that's in. See that? Uh-huh. Now, you know the final kingdom of the world is the iron mixed with miry clay. So, if the host body system is a miry clay, then you got to get the iron into it. So, you can combine iron mixed with the miry clay, man melded with machine. I wonder if they'd even know it. So, remember, everything's twins, like, just like this uh, clothing line called 400. It's a twin. See, 400. It's a twin. It's hunted, hunted, four, and then the twin of hunted is dinner. D-I-N-N-U-H. Hunted for dinner. See, hunted for dinner. You're hunted. See, hunted, hunted for, and what's the, the twin of dinner, of hunted? Dinner, D-I-N-N-U-H, hunted for dinner. What's hunted for dinner? Did you know 400 in the Bible, which is the clothing line, 400? It means food supply, prey. See, prey right there, food supply. Why would somebody make a clothing line that's called 400 and it's food supply, prey? Let me show you a couple of the products they make. One is 400, this sweatshirt. It says 400, but remember, it's hunted for dinner. Well, what's, what's at the top of the sweatshirt? An angel. They're hunting angels for dinner. Here's a pair of their shoes that are called bait. 
uh, the, and it has 400 on the back on the heel. It says, F you pay me, lost angel. You know why, don't you? Because Lucifer saying, hey, I gave you the host body. You, I promised you. Now, that's the forbidden fruit. F you pay me, I get your soul. So you got a host body. You got a pair of tennis shoes to wear around. So F you pay me your soul. You owe me your soul. I gave you a host body because you didn't get converted. This is what the world's all about. I can prove it. I'm proving it <laughs> right in front of you. Uh, that's why there's a clothing line called 400 Lost Lost Angels because angels are hunted for dinner. So that's just all there is to it. Um, I don't know if you guys know what that, you know what? This is, this is for the next video to slam it home. I want you guys, I want you guys to watch the, I want you guys to watch the Revelation of the Pyramid video before I drop the last my world destroying bomb. I have a bomb that's going to change the world forever. Anyway, so it's here and I can prove it and I can show you their methodology and how they're going to do it. So let's get back to what's a common denominator. So way back in the time of ancient Egypt, because you're going to go watch an ancient Egypt uh, documentary for Johnny is your homework. Because if you really want to know what's going on, then you should do everything the Lord does for me so you can understand it like I do, or you'll never understand it the way I do. So the documentary you're going to watch on ancient Egypt, and then you're going to watch this video, obviously. And then the next video, I have the greatest gift for you, you would ever believe. The full knowledge of the truth of this place you're in. It's a prison. It's a prison planet. The whole thing's a prison. It's a well-disguised, elaborate, amazing ruse. And that's why Satan is called the Prince of Darkness. Because you're born into total darkness and you just don't even know it. Okay, so let me show you the serpent race. Ready? Here's the serpent being right here. There he is. Now, see, there he is right inside like an un. But, see, his his head and neck turn to a scrotum. And we'll get to that in a minute. But let's take a closer look at the kid, the kid that Akhenaten's holding. Because this is all about offspring. So, I'll go right over there with this. And I had to put this on a light board to get all the nuances of light. The Lord told me to, to do it on a light board. So I built a big light board. I blew this up. And I was able to see it all. Let me show you what it is. So let me en enlarge this. There's a sheep. Let's look at that sheep. You see the sheep right here? Here's the eye of the sheep. Look right here. Here's the eye of the sheep right there. Here's the nostril of the sheep right here. Right here. There's the open mouth. And there's the red tongue going back. Bottom jaw. And here's the ear right here. See, this is the ear, right? There's the ear coming down. So the, the, no different than the pictures of me where there's a sheep facing one way and a goat facing the other way. It's the same exact kind of art. Isn't that weird? Who could see such a thing? Who could discover that? So here's a sheep looking one way, a dead sheep, and looking the other way is the kid. But what's really amazing is I noticed the carving, the kid's teeth are like fangs, like a vampire. You know why? Because it's a vampiric system I'm about to show you. That's why yours truly, the Lord made sure I had a company called Vampire Sunglasses come out of the darkness into the light. Now, here's what's really fascinating about the kid's head. If you look very closely at the hieroglyph right here, you see this dark area all the way around his head. See that? That's very specifically done. Look at that big carve out. You know why? Because the kid's head is really an egg. And so watch. The kid's head is an egg for hatching another race. A race within a race. Oh my gosh, look. There it is. So it's sized and bam. It's a race within a race. And the egg that it's being hatched in is a head of a child that's part of a breeding thing in this very hieroglyph. If you were an ancient Egyptian iconographer, why why wouldn't you be on the phone all day with me? What the hell? How did you do this, Clack? I'd want to know everything. Now, let's take a look at that. So, now let's take the sheep's head and we'll go put it in the egg right there. Wow. 
So the egg has a dead sheep in it. Look right here. Here's the dead sheep going in the egg right there. Wow, but you know what? The if you if you have the eyes that the Lord's given me, which he's given me just insane vision, I can tell it's also a reptile in the fetal position. It's both. It's a dead sheep as well as a reptile. Here's the reptile. Let's go right on in. Dun 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 dun. So it's a dead sheep and a reptile together. Now let's put them together. So watch. Here's the reptile. And the, the nostril of the reptile becomes the eye. The nostril of the sheep simply becomes the eye of the reptile. Watch. Bam. And you know what's even crazier? It's identical to my artwork before I got saved. I would turn one thing into another, into another, into another. So... What it's a race within a race. Oh my god, look, it's a serpent and a sheep. A serpent and a sheep. And guess what? It's the exact same thing as the Vatican. The Vatican is a serpent and a sheep. And people are drawing pictures of me with a serpent eating me as a sheep. Do y'all know what's going on now? Yeah, the original race of this planet, the Adidas original, they're the serpent race, and they've had sheep in it from the beginning till the end, which is now where they make everybody into a robot. Told you. Here you go, watch this. Okay, so now I'm going to take this part of the hieroglyph, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zoom out. I'm going to take this part right here, watch. I'm going to... Zoom out. I'm going to show you. This is Akhenaten's body right here. That's his neck down. But what it really is, is it's it's a serpent-like creature, like an Arab. And he's got a tongue coming out right here, going right to the nostrils of the kid. See, this is really a serpent tongue going straight to the kid's nose. And he's eating his own kid but it's upside down so the way you got to see the 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 creature that's the pharaoh he's eating his own child see because we became children of satan when we signed ourselves over and we said we'd take on those bites and he became your new daddy but he gets to consume your soul what a great dad so that's why the Bible says you've received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry out, Abba, Father. See, we were children of the devil, but he eats his own. It's a cannibalistic system. Cain and Abel. Cannibal. Cain and Abel. Twins. Oh, like hunted for dinner. Twins. Oh, I get it. By the way, this is the most supernatural information on the planet, folks. Okay, so here we go. So now there's a hieroglyph that shows a serpent inside of a kid's head and a dead sheep, and the kid has fangs like a vampire. But when we turn it upside down, looky right here. So now when we turn the torso and the neck of the pharaoh upside down, look, he's eating the sheep. So here it is. Watch. So here he is. Here's his eye right here. Here's the eye. Eye pointing us, mouth wide open, tongue coming out. And, he sh and the sheep's upside down, and his, his dad's eating him. But that's the weirdest thing in the world. Well, let's, let's zoom out from Nefertiti. Look at the serpent going all the way up Nefertiti's leg. And look at the eye of the serpent right there. See the eye of the serpent? Well, there's a kid going in the mouth of the serpent. Let's look at that for a second. But let's take a good look at the head of the serpent. Look at the head of the serpent. Look at the eye. See the eye right there of the serpent right there? And there's a nose. It's like a boa constrictor or one of those big constrictors. Well, let's look a little further down on our hands. Let me show you this. It's very odd because I, I noticed how bad the artwork was in a, by her hand. I was like, why'd they do her hand like that? But here's a here's a serpent right here with two legs coming out of the mouth. Here's the bottom jaw in green. There's going this way. And there's the hand. I have not augmented it. I've drawn in exactly as it is. Let me show you a profile. Here's a guy stuck in hell. Here's his spirit. Kind of looks like a profile of Robin Williams, sadly. 
There's the eye right there. There's the nose. There's the mouth. There's the chin. Um, so this serpent right here becomes the hand of the queen around the other side of the child right there. See, like, watch. Let's take the serpent. Do, 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 do. Why are all these kids being eaten by serpents? And a hieroglyph of Akhenaten and Nefertiti. Well, let me go down and let me show you a little cleaner images. I went and drew it in again just to make sure I had it right. There's the serpent superimposed over a sheep. Lady Gaga said, a race within a race, a serpent race within the host body system. So see, here's Lady Gaga right here. Look, right here. See Lady Gaga? She's in an egg. They're carrying her out to do her little, they're carrying her out to do her little routine. There she is in the egg because they're the serpent race. And they're going to walk her out on stage and she's going to do a performance of a race within a race, which is exactly what the hieroglyph of Akhenaten and Nefertiti are. So let's take the sheep and we put it in the egg. There it is. So put the sheep right there. Boom. Take the reptile, put it right there. Boom. And what do you have? You just have a serpent and a reptile, a race within a race, just like Lady Guy. Isn't it interesting? She got out. And she put her hat right there like this is a big head of that race. You see the race? There's the eye and the big egg makes the head. Isn't that fascinating? So anyway, so now let's just go back and see what's going on here. So you take the Queen Nefertiti and you just simply take the Queen and we turned her and it's a sheep with its tongue sticking out. Wow, we have a common denominator. We have a common denominator now. We have serpents eating sheep. I've got it, three of me where I have serpents eating me. <laughs> you know, and my wife gave me a card with the serpent eating me, well, eating a sheep representing me. And then two other people drew images and they winked their tongue. One of them winked their tongue, stuck out their eye like lightning from heaven in this healthcare ad. So the serpent race is take, has to take over the world. When? Well, at the end, when he forces everyone to take a mark or chip in, you know. Yeah, that's it. So, Anyway, so it's pretty obvious now. It's a joke. But if I can see it, that is bad, bad news for them because that means the Lord God sees it. Okay, there's that serpent with the legs hanging out. Let me just go through this a little more. Just take a little peek. Uh, here's the girl on her knees, so I'll show you the outline of that. So there's the serpent being in green right there within Akhenaten. Well, the serpent being also makes a scrotum and a penis. And I, I just colored the girl's body all pink. She's being penetrated. I made her hair yellow. Her hair is the leg of the kid. Eye, open mouth, knee bent, hip right here. I could color that in the same color and it would be the hip. And then here's her leg bent going out. So she is being impregnated by a serpent being. That probably represents Eve and them impregnating Eve. That's probably what it is. And so now the whole system's been busted. And I need you guys to watch the revelation of the pyramid. Because the gift I have for you in the world is the greatest gift that could Jesus is the greatest gift there ever could be. But Jesus came and he said, you'll know the truth and the truth will set you free. So you'll know Jesus. So when you know the whole truth, who do you know? Jesus. Everything he gave me is to show you who he is and what he did. He's the one that revealed this, not me. The Holy Spirit revealed it. So the Holy Spirit's what revealed that there's a T-Rex right on the side of this guy's head. I mean, why would you have a T-Rex in your presidential portrait? You got any answers for that? You see the T-Rex right here? That's a good T-Rex. There's the eye underneath the eye. There's the eyebrow. And then this back part right here that also becomes a sheep. But it's really hard to do the sheep because I got to be able to shade it. I see the sheep, but it's tough to get it in. But the sheep's tongue is this bush right here. A uh, sheep's tongue right there, and then that's the eye. But if you look at this, is the back of the T Rex right here. The tongue of the sheep, he's actually dropping out of his rear end as a feces. That's because that's what they think about us. 
That's a presidential portrait, by the way. I guarantee you that's what it is. So, I wonder why, I wonder how all this is going to go, huh? That's a, that's a presidential portrait. And this guy right here becomes a serpent from the Garden of Eden. And I can draw all that stuff in for you. I wonder where all this stuff is heading. Hmm. So, it's all about what? Serpents and sheep. See? Serpent and sheep. Hieroglyph. Serpents and sheep. Sorry. Serpents and sheep in the hieroglyph. Same thing. Serpents eating sheep. Largest church in the world. Serpents eating sheep. Largest church in the world. Serpents eating sheep. Hieroglyph of Akhenaten. Serpent beings eating his own children. Serpents eating sheep. Again, what's it all about? Serpents eating sheep. What's the largest church in the world? It's in the shape of a serpent. Who congregates in there? Let's talk about who congregates inside that church. Well, did you know the... B I D E N B O. He's one. Of, he was one of them. I was raised uh, Catholic, actually. Um, but oh, Nancy Pelosi. She's a peach, right? She's a real peach. She's a Catholic. She even stated she she's Catholic. They would never do any wrong to anyone, really. Okay. Well, I can prove that's not true because I've lived it. So anyway, so there you go. There's a big serpent wearing a crown and in the mouth right here. See the window right there? The mount, that window is a sheep. So the serpent's eating sheep in a hieroglyph and in the Vatican and in pictures being drawn of me and in calendars and all over the place. I can show it to you everywhere because beavers build dams in this part of the world the same as they build them in other parts of the world. Why do you think people come up to me and say, hey, I drew a picture of you? Why would you draw a picture of me? Unless you're mocking me, you evil serpent race. Because they mock, oh, those who rule my people mock them, says the Lord. Got it. So now we know what's going on. But the last kingdom of the world, the serpent race, needs you to conform. No more sheep. Wouldn't that be crazy if there was like, so the all-seen eye is everywhere, right? Because the all-seen eye is them. Not to make you paranoid or anything, but let me show you something real quick, okay? Okay, so worldwide neighborhood watch signs. By the way, shh, hey, shh, don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone uh, that we're a vampiric race. Quiet, hush, shh, quiet. Uh, don't tell anyone. Okay, because the neighborhood watch sign for neighborhoods, you know, to make sure the sheep are in line. Let me show you the neighborhood watch sign with the sheep getting its head cut off. First, let me show you a sheep right here. Here's a sheep right here. Got it? So here's a sheep's head right here. All right. So let me take this sign right here. I'll just turn the sheep upside down. There we go. So there's the sheep upside down. And da, da, da. Is that the same thing? I just, I can't really rotate the sheep anymore. But is that what's going on? It's really a sheep getting its head cut off yes there's the eye of the sheep there's the eye of the sheep there's the ear of the sheep that's weird that's a neighborhood watch sign let's let's do oh wait a minute no 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 drunken with the blood of the okay that's a neighborhood watch sign let me go right here there we go and let's take a look at that again so here's a sheep's getting its head cut off that you can tell that's a different one. Here's another one. Here's another one. These are all different signs. But let's take this sheep and let's do this right here. There you go. You know what? Let me move the little thing. There you go. Ready? Here we go. Ready? Ta-da! It's a sheep getting its head cut off. Now, those are neighborhood watch signs all around the world. It's, see? Neighborhood watch. So. That song, they're watching you, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's what the all-seeing eye is. They're everywhere. That's the mystery of the world. It's the most subtle of all the beasts of the field, which the Lord God had made. It's the Egyptian race. The Egyptians, the beginning, ancient Egypt. 
Mm -hmm. You're really in ancient Egypt. It's just progressed. And it's going towards the final progression to turn man into machine. That's where it's got to go. That's it. It's like uh, John Connor, <laughs> Terminator. Anyway, but it follows the Bible. So everyone has to be turned into iron mixed with miry clay. We're already miry clay, but we need the iron in us. And so they're going to have to come up with a way to do that, which they have. Anyway, so we're at the point where they got to put the iron online, you know. And if you want to go to the party and chip in, you can. 660 or 6. Told you. So, <laughs> I just... And hopefully this video will stay up. If it doesn't, you'll be seeing it on the other platform. But, so, go watch the Ancient Egypt video. That's what you should do. At the 122 mark to the 124, 36 mark on the Ancient uh, Pyramid video, on the Revelation of the Pyramid, from 122 to 124, 36. Watch the summarization over and over and over again. Let it sink in. You want to know who the original race was? Hell, I showed it to you in an Adidas commercial. Obama said, We're, there's a reptilian side of our brain. I showed it to you in a hieroglyph. Yes, there is. It's the reptilian side that's killing the sheep side. You know, the twin reptile sheep system. I've got pictures of me with serpents eating me, and I'm a dead sheep in my head. I mean, hello, it's a, you cannot come up with these data points. <laughs> okay? The data points are perfect. The serpent race is taking over right now. That's it. End of story. And the way they're going to do it is Revelation 13. He requires all rich and poor, slave and free, great and small, to receive a mark, a chip in. That's it. Okay, so I love you guys. So I'm here, and we're we're moving very quickly now. This is very strange. The Lord told me to keep a very close eye on this upcoming month. I don't do dates. I don't like when people do dates. If you send me a letter and you put a date in it, I usually throw your letter away immediately, because don't do dates. It's okay to look and be hopeful for. You know what's coming, but I'm just saying, the Lord said, no one knows the hour or the day. No one. Not even the angels or the son. Only the Father knows. That's it. Okay, so, and if anyone says, oh, well, he showed me. No. But I can tell you this. The Lord told me to keep a very close eye on the upcoming Jewish holidays. I'm not a Jewish holiday guy. I'm not. I don't do Jewish I don't, oh, it's all got to be on a Jewish holiday. I don't, I don't put God in a box. He can make his own holiday. So anyway, so that's one thing that I want to share how he showed me that. And so I'd like to do that in this upcoming next video. But I just wanted you guys to watch this ancient Egypt video. Remember the night I got saved? The pyramid is your enemy. Yeah, it sure is. That's an understatement. Okay, guys, I love you in Christ. Um, we'll do a we'll do, we'll do a big hug. You know what? I'll get my bear. Hang on one sec. Everybody could use a good hug right now. Yes. Okay. Everybody, just reach out your arms. I love you guys. We're brothers. We're sisters in Christ. We're gonna be okay. Don't be afraid, cheap. We're trapped with the serpent race. Absolutely. Jesus told us what would happen, but this is our correctional institute. The Earth is your correctional institute. We've been, you know, we got what we asked for. And if you don't repent and turn back to Jesus, then your final sentence is carried out, which is eternal death, eternal separation from the Lord God. And the host body system is what did it. Lucifer offered us the bait. Those tennis shoes I showed you, they're called bait. Why would you name tennis shoes bait? Well, if you're Lucifer and you said, hey, I can give you guys a host body, just come with me. You know what? Would you like to see it in the scriptures? Would you like me to show you? Let me show you in the scriptures where Lucifer got the other angels to go with him. And let me show you where. Okay, so here we go. It says right here, son of man. Okay, the word of the Lord came again unto me. 
son of man, say unto the prince of Tyre, say that thus saith the Lord thy God. Look, the Lord God, right here, all capital letters. It's Yehovah. See right here, Jehovah, the self-existent eternal. Look, it's the self-existent eternal Jehovah. See it? It's all capital letters. It's thus saith the Lord God, because thine heart is lifted up, and thou hast said, I am a, look, God, look at right here. So the Lord is rebuking Satan, who's taken on the form of the Prince of Tyrus. The Bible says, Lucifer can appear as an angel of light. Satan takes over any host body he wants at will. Second Timothy, read it. Okay, look. The, thus said the Lord God, because thine heart is lifted up, and thou hast said, I am a God. Look right here. Read these words. I am a God. Well, wait a minute. What's the word for God there? Ready? I'm going to click on it. Hebrew word 410. L, the almighty God. C-E-L. L, the almighty God. From the root 352, which means properly strength, a chief politically. So he's the head of all the gods. A ram, a sheep. See it? A sheep. Thus said, because thou hast said, I am L. See right there, L. So I sit in the seat of Elohim right here. See Elohim. In the midst of the seas, yet thou art a man. Because now he's been turned into a man. Yet thou art a man. And not L, not L, the almighty God. Though thy set thine heart is the heart of Elohim. See, though thou set thine heart as the heart of Elohim. So Elohim, who do you think we are? We're the Elohim that came with. And it's like we got duped because he said his heart is the heart of Elohim. And we're like, we want those bodies. Yeah, we can do it. It's a forbidden fruit. I mean, the scriptures bear it out all the time. Watch. So can... Can can he be El the Almighty God? No, El. But you sit in the heart of who? Elohim. So Elohim is not El. In the midst of the seas, yeah, thou art a man and not El. But thine heart, you set thine heart is the heart of Elohim. Okay, I get it. Isaiah 7, ready? The coming of the Messiah. Therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son. You shall call his name Emmanuel. See, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. You shall call his name Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Emmanuel means with us is right there. What's E-L? Hebrew word for ten, the Almighty God. With us is El, the Almighty God. So we know that El, the Almighty God, is coming into the system here in Isaiah 7. It says it right here. Therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. The virgin shall conceive and bear a sign. You'll call his name Emmanuel. With us is El. And then look at Isaiah 14. Ready? Ready? Isaiah. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? Thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of El. See? Stars, it means in the sense of blazing a prince. So Lucifer wants to set his throne above the princes of El. El, the Almighty God. Who are the princes of El, the Almighty God? Elohim. Those are his children. Now, you want me to prove it again? Let's go to Psalm 82. Jesus said in John, Jesus said in John 10, don't your own scriptures say your God's right here. And Jesus said, Jesus answered them and said, is it not written in your own law? I said your God's. Jesus knew it was written in Psalm 82. Look, Jesus said, is it not written in your own law? I have said your God's. Psalm 82, I have said your God's. Look. Elohim, and all of you are children of, so Elohim are children of who? The Most High. El. El. Yawn. Do you get it? El. The Almighty from the highest elevation. We're Elohim. We're all Elohim. That's why that statue of the Elohim 
inside the Vatican coming in, that's Lucifer bringing the the shining ones, which was us. He brought the shining ones in to do this, use their energy to do all this, and to destroy them were the Elohim. Perfect, perfect data. It says it right here. I have said you are gods, you are Elohim, all of you are children of the Most High. Well, okay, so now we're all gods, but you shall die like men. So see, we got a death sentence. And you shall fall like one of the princes, a ruler that had rule. Oh, like one of the stars of heaven, princes, yes. Do you get it? We're the Elohim. Yeah. The Mormons know it, but the Mormons have twisted it. They've totally twisted it. So anyway, yeah, we're Elohim and we have to get reconciled back to God. If you're if you're a God, doesn't it make sense that you have to be reconciled back to God now? Reconciliation is when there's a relationship that's destroyed and you gotta you gotta fix it. You gotta mend the relationship. That's what reconciliation is. We're ministers of reconciliation. That's what the Bible says. Hey man, God dad wants you back. He wants you back. Really he wants me back? Even though I went against him and I, I did the forbidden fruit. Mm -hmm. He wants you back. All you gotta do is say you're sorry, repent Everything's upside down. You can see the enemy. And then you got to live out your life in faith. That's it. Woo! Dad loves us. He died on a cross. With us is El. El came in to get us. We're Elohim. They carried us away captive. Come with us. Lucifer said, oh, come on. Thou hast set thine heart as the heart of Elohim. No. <laughs> now watch the pyramid video. Okay, ready? This is you. Maybe not as bewildered as you look. <laughs> and this is Johnny. I love you guys in Christ. We'll be okay. Don't be afraid. Okay? All right. I love you in Christ. This is Sunday night video. And I can't post this till Tuesday. Watch the video. Okay? Watch the revelation of the pyramid. You got to watch it. If you want to know what I know, how I know... And the, the resources the Lord God uses just to prove he's right when he shows me stuff. He'll prove himself right by what he shows me. Look, he took me all the way to the, to the desert to give me a rock that's split in half that makes the same rock. By the way, it's shaped identical to the Vatican. See it? Can you believe that? That's insane. Out of trillions of rocks. Just to prove it, to show he's right. All right, love you in Christ, guys. Um, go watch the video.